Okay, I'm just going to come straight out and let you guys know that we are no longer a meeting in the league. However, as we lost against Liverpool, Manchester United also lost, and we still have a game in hand on them, and we're still five points clear of them. It's ours to throw away at this point. Liverpool aren't even in the title race anymore. It's ours to throw away. Watch us up. Hi guys and welcome to Season 3, Episode 8 of Let's Go Hammers. I'm Stubo. Thank you very much for joining me in today's episode where we are going to be focusing on the Champions League whilst keeping an eye on the Premier League at the same time. We're going to be playing Borussia Dortmund twice in the Champions League semi-final in this remarkable season where we just seem to be destined to win all of the things. If that all sounds good to you, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel as well for more Football Manager awesomeness. Since you were last with me, um, I mean, I buried the lead in the intro. I kind of, kind of uh, spoiled things already. We actually did lose against Liverpool, which was a bit of a shame. That's the wrong button, Stuart. Uh, we did beat Newcastle in the league, which was fantastic. It was a very tight game. Newcastle had our number, and I don't understand why they've had our number in both of the games we played against them. I'm sure earlier in the season we were absolutely dominant against them. Where did we play them? Where did we play them? Newcastle, 3-1. Okay, we didn't have it all our own way, but we did beat them. But yeah, that was a very difficult game, uh, but we did get there in the 92nd minute. Declan Rice, the captain, got us three points in that game. We then went to Anfield, and this one stung a little bit. Um, it was all done after the first half. Yanis Hadji, we thought, immediately had got us back into the game. But then, on the stroke of half-time, Erling Haaland with a penalty. Um, very, very disappointing. I think it, were, it was Christiansen who gave it away. Christiansen had an absolute shocker. Um, so, yeah, that left us, as we currently stand, like this. So... As I said, well, Liverpool, I think, are pretty much out of it. Although, I I, mean, I don't know, mathematically, I think they can still do it. There's four Premier League games to go for us. There's five to go for them. So, mathematically, it's possible. That win actually got them back into it. Um, but really, it is a two-horse race between us and Manchester United. So, realistically, as it stands, we have one game on Manchester United with a five-point gap. We win that game. It goes to eight points. We then have... Nine points on the table with an eight-point gap, assuming we win the game against Manchester City. So we will go into the final episode in that case with basically a win away from the title. If we lose or draw against Manchester City, it makes it a bit more interesting. But it's going to be, it's going to be interesting either way, I think. So it's set up to be quite the, uh, quite the interesting finale. As you see, Bournemouth actually play... Um, on this match day, they play against... Is it this match day? Yeah, this is match day. They play against Bo uh, Bournemouth and Liverpool play each other. Um, you would assume Liverpool would win that game. Uh, and then Manchester United actually have Burnley next, who are or more or less relegated uh, when we've got Manchester City. So, obviously, we've got the more difficult game there. Uh, Manchester United's next game after that. We might as well have a look while we're here. Manchester United will be playing against Chelsea. That's a huge game. Um... And then we come to the final games of the season. Uh, well, the, the final couple of games of the season. We then obviously play Chelsea. And then on the final game of the season, Manchester United have got Watford, who are also more or less down. It's in our hands. We've not got the easiest run to do it, but it is still in our hands. So, with all of that said, let's shift focus and let's try and win a Champions League match, shall we? This is the 11 we're hopefully going to be taking with us to beat Borussia Dortmund. It's LaFont in goal, Livramento, Zuma, Mancini, and against my better judgment, it's Christiansen in defence. Sushak and Rice in midfield with Bowen, Hadji, and Madueke supporting Brenner up front. I'm keeping Christiansen in there. Reason being, Angelino hasn't really set the world alight. He's had one or two good games, but I don't feel like he'll have a good game against Dortmund. I just don't think it would be the right thing to do. Part of me is tempted to put Justin in there, but he doesn't like big games. Champions League semi-finals are a pretty big one, so we're going to stick with what we've got and hopefully come out with something. The fact that we're in the Champions League semi-final blows my mind a little bit, so I'm not overly bothered about what happens here. I just don't want us to get smashed and for our morale and form just to go down the toilet. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Hopefully we do ourselves justice. Let's go. I feel like I should be calling this the biggest game of the season, but... 
with the way the Premier League shaping up, I don't think it is. I really don't. Um, it's the worst run of form we've had all season that we're just currently in, but it's still actually not that bad, all things considered. But we are going up against a Borussia Dortmund team who are second in the German League, who are a very, very good side. And, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about just how strong they are. Uh, Brenner is the striker we've gone with today. Alvarez has annoyed me a few too many times for him to be in the... Uh, in the starting lineup today so we are just going to go for it today and see what happens hopefully we have got enough about us to get a win against Dortmund and we've gone ahead and it's Kurt Zuma it's really late at night so I have to be really careful with how loud I am but Kurt Zuma puts us in the lead against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League semi-final first leg <gasps> yes get in there boys what a response to the Liverpool game I know it's early doors I know we've only just started the game I know it's a set piece goal but I do not care we've gone ahead and Liveramento's picked up a knock, so we do have to keep an eye on that. It's a bit frustrating that Liveramento's injured. Bowen now. Looks for Brenner. Brenner is wide open. Can he make it too? Oh, my God. What is that finish? What is he doing? <sighs> Brenner with the chance to make it too, and he absolutely fluffs his lines. Tell me that's not a sign of things to come. Tell me that's not a sign of things to come. Rice gets it to Madueke. Madueke into Hadji. Back to Christiansen. Christiansen ball over the top to Madueke. Looking for options here, Madueke. Oh, my word. That looked like it went in and out. That actually looked like it went in and out. It didn't, obviously, because it would be given in that case. But, oh, God. This first half is trolling me. We're a goal ahead, but we could easily be 3-0 up. And we're not. Livermento does really well. Let's get the ball off of Bellingham. We're defending reasonably well here. They've got a couple of knocks themselves. Gio Reyna puts it in the back of the net. The referee's having a look at it. I don't know whether it is offside. I feel like they've just walked the ball in here. And I'm a little bit frustrated with the boys if they have. Yeah, it's been given. It's been. It's that weird, that weird thing where the highlight doesn't actually do anything. I mean, he looked off there to me. Are we going to get uh, an offside replay? He's off. He's off by a country mile. I change the angle. Turns out I can't change the angle, so we have to do with what we've got. To me, he looks so off there, it's not even funny. Oh, we've been robbed. We've been robbed by the referee. We've been done there. I genuinely think we've been done there. It should be 1-0. Oh, the ball's into Rainer. Oh, boys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, we've just capitulated in the worst possible time. We've just let them come through here. Who is it? Is it Zuma? Zuma comes forward. And it's Mancini who makes the mistake. He's been ultra-reliable all season. And we go in a half-time 2-1 down. It should be... We could have had three goals. They should have had their first one disallowed. I'm adamant that should have been offside. <sighs> right, we need to we need to shape things shake things up here. Right, these two are being swapped around because I didn't put them the right way around. That's my bad. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this to D up on, and he's going to play in defence. And we're going to put Kurt Zuma to right back. Um, Gianluca Mancini, hopefully as a right-sided central defender, he'll do a bit better. We have got James Justin who can come on. I don't really want to make that change yet, though. Uh, and Jad Bowen's had a shocker. So we're going to put Madueke over to the right-hand side, and we're going to bring Zakarian on. Those are the changes we're going to go with. We're going to keep an eye on Mancini. Worst case, we bring on James Justin. But those are the changes we're going to do. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness me. Right. Come on, lads. Let's go attacking. We know we're good enough to get a result against this slot. We know that we can. Let's give it our all here. Demanding more from the boys. No highlights so far. We're having chances though. We're having plenty of them. Brenner's had the worst game I think he's ever had for us. Brenner's absolutely been useless in this game. And I think we have to bring him off for Alvarez. But it's the only change we've got. 
It's the only change that we've got. What else can we do? There's nothing else we can do. I'd love to have another striker. I don't think we've got a fourth substitution, have we? No, we don't. That was wishful thinking. This means we'll have to go to their place and get a result. I don't really want to have to rely on doing that. We just have to go for it. We have to go with that and hope for the best. Hopefully, Alvarez can pull a rabbit out of the hat here. We fire up the boys. We have a corner. A draw is a great result. If we can take a draw with us to the second leg, that'd be great. Hadji in. And the ball is in the back of the net. Madueke scores. The referee's going to check it. This feels like their, their first goal. It's been disallowed. Madueke has had a goal disallowed here. It's not even... <clears throat> I understand why that's been disallowed. I do. But I'm frustrated with it. I'm genuinely frustrated with it. Because I would say uh, their goal, their first goal was more offside than our... That goal was. Um, I'm incensed by that. I'm absolutely furious. And we might concede a third here. Lafont gets the ball, holds on to it. Oh my word, what can we do? I'm trying not to just adjust stuff now for the sake of adjusting stuff. I've done a couple of bits there in the hope that maybe they can unlock the defence. Lafont's just hit it long. Their keeper's come so far out. Can Hadji hit it? How why has Hadji not had a go? Yes, Hadji could have had a go. To cut Alvarez into Madueke. Whips it in. Bellingham's there to clear. Bellingham is there to clear. We're running out of time here. Ball forward. It just hits the defender. Hit forward. Hit long. The ups there. I will say Mancini has recovered a bit in this game. And I'm quite proud of him. All hope is not lost in this result. But just not losing this game would be really... Oh my god. Not losing this game would genuinely make a difference. It would make such a difference. But we are doing our best job here to throw it all away. Makoko's there looking for the chip. He just goes over. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. There's nothing else really to do. Okay, we're going for some utter, utter tactical madness here. Just to try and get another goal. I don't know what else to do. I genuinely don't know what else to do. We've got early crosses on. Trying to pay at a higher tempo. We're being more expressive. We're getting the ball out as quickly as possible. We're going to distribute it to the flanks. We're going to throw it long to the flanks. You know how that can do something. We're getting stuck in. We're going to press a bit more as well. Just try and get the ball off of them. Try and get the ball in the back and there. We've put them under some significant pressure. Zakarian's won the ball. Zakarian gets it in. Alvarez. Madueke. Madueke. Is the referee going to disallow it again? The referee's coming over again. It's the second time Madueke has had the ball in the back of the net. I think it counts. I think it counts. Zakarian whips it in. Alvarez gets it to Madueke. I don't know what the offside call was, if it was an offside call. Are we going to see a replay? We're not. We're definitely not making any changes. Right. Carry on, boys. That's a free kick. Makoko to take. Whips it in. Sushet clears it. I've left us. I didn't make those last couple of changes, but I have left us very attacking. Just because we are currently with the momentum. Jude Bellingham wins the ball. We win the ball back, though. Christiansen. If he can just hit a big ball forward, he can't. Loses the ball to Jude Bellingham. Are we going to regret going for this? No, we win the ball. Madueke now. Gets it down. Big ball forward. Ianis Hadji's forward. Ianis Hadji. <gasps> the game has turned around. It's midnight. I can't be too loud. <sighs> what is happening in this game? The game had robbed us. The game had absolutely robbed us, and then somehow we've robbed the game. Oh, my word. Ianis Hadji, who looked a, a couple of points like he was going to be on his way out of the club. He looked like he'd fallen out with us. 
Madueke, the provider. I need to lie down. I need to go to bed. I actually do need to go to bed, but I ain't going to bed yet. Oh, my word. What a finish from Yanis Hadji. 3-2 on the night. And we win the first leg. We've got to do all that again. We've got to do that all again. And the, the, the formation did end up changing. I thought I'd cancelled it. That's the formation we ended with. And that's the formation that ended up getting us that last goal. Alvarez offset, allowing support striker Hadji to come forward. Good job, boys. What a comeback. Oh, my goodness. Liverpool beat Bournemouth. Chelsea beat Southampton. Southampton's dream of Champions League football looks like it might be over. See you in a moment for the second leg. Okay, I don't want to hype things up too much, but I think this performance might actually be the performance that if we win the title, we might look back at this one and go, yeah, this is where it happens. 5-1 against Manchester City. I was worried going into this one, but um, we abs absolutely smashed them. It wasn't all our own way to begin with, though. We, we uh, conceded an early goal to Maxi Gomez, but then we just turned on the style. Zakarian, Alvarez, Almada, Madueke, and Almada again. Uh, the first Almada goal was a a pretty nice free kick. I'm not going to show you it because it wasn't the best free kick in the world, but it was a nice goal. And Armada actually scored in his second with a little chip as well. Again, not the best chip you've ever seen in the world. So they're not going to go into the goal of the season hat. But I thought they were worth mentioning, at least verbally anyway. So some nice goals scored by the team and just a very, very good performance. Um, but it all comes down to this for the Champions League. This is the 11 we're going to be taking with us into the second leg against Borussia Dortmund at Signal Iduna Park. And hopefully we can turn that one goal advantage into a Champions League final place, which would be maddening to me. But then I did do it last season, last year in FM21 with Aston Villa. So it can happen. I did it in two seasons in that save as well. So it can happen. But this is the team. It's Lafont in goal. Justin, Diop, Zuma and Christiansen in defence. Tillemans and Rice in midfield with Madueke, Armada and Zakarian supporting Alvarez up front. Livramento isn't fully fit, but it's only a bruised thigh. So we have got him on the bench, even though he's not fully fit, just in case we need him. Because again, James Justin, not the best in big matches. And this is a fairly big match. So, wish me luck, everyone. Let's go. Well... Our Champions League campaign all comes down to this. Borussia Dortmund versus West Ham United. One goal separating the teams from a 3-2 scoreline in the first leg. Advantage West Ham. But home advantage Borussia Dortmund. Let's go. Let's see whether we can get to an inexplicable inexplicable Champions League final. They're playing a 4-3-1-2 as well, which is a bit of a throwback FM system if I um, am being informed correctly. I believe I've seen people use that in the past in older FMs. Madueke's in here. Madueke, if you can hold the ball up and find someone, find Zakarian. Adds... Lads, we might be in the Champions League final. We might actually be in the Champions League final. How? How are we doing this? I wish... I... Let's wait and find out. Oh, Rain has broke through the defence there. He's done it really well. But the fun makes the crucial save. This would be the worst time to get a continental hangover if we were to win this and then lose our last three games. I'm just putting it out there right now. I almost don't want to put it out there, but I just I feel like I need to say it. It would be the worst time impossible. Madueke is in again. This is how the first goal started. Madueke. <gasps> Kobo's made a mistake. It's two. It's 2-0 on the night. I'm having to be really quiet because it's 25 past 1 in the morning because it's taken me so long to record these videos. I'm stunned. I'm, I'm absolutely stunned. We're two goals ahead in the second leg. 
were five two up on aggregate after the the trials and tribulations of the first leg, the emotional roller coaster, and the battering of Man City that we've just given them. And Alvarez is in here. He's been forced wide, but he's going to try and hold the ball up for people. It's Madueke. I mean, Madueke is the reason why we're two nil. Why we're two nil ahead at the moment. He's only scored one of the goals, but he definitely is responsible for both of them. And he nearly had another one there. Finding it interesting, we're equal with Dortmund in terms of kilometres run. We're actually equal to them in that respect at the moment. We're just swamping them going forward at the moment. But they are very dangerous and they do have a chance to get back now. But Hummels' is header is saved comfortably by Lafont. Lafont is up for this. He's had some questionable performances this season, but he seems to be up for this today. I'm a little bit worried about how he's struggling to work out what to do here. Auburn launches it forward. Oh my god, he's found Alvarez. The Dortmund defence. The Dortmund defence didn't know what to do there. And Lafont, who looked like he was struggling to find out what to do, found a perfect ball to Alvarez. And Kurt Zuma heads over from the resulting corner after that chance. But. Oh my god. Is it happening? There's no way we're winning the Champions League in our first FM22 save. Makoko's through here. Makoko could make it 2-1. He does make it 2-1. We do need to be careful here. Delusions of grandeur are not helpful at the moment. We can demand a bit more from the team. There's still a two-goal cushion between us and Dortmund. And at half-time, we lead in the tie, both this match and overall. 2-1, 5-3 overall. That is staggering to me. I am absolutely staggered. Right, Madueke, keep yourself calm. Tiago Armada, sort yourself out. Julian Alvarez, didn't want to click on you. I wanted to click on you, and I wanted to say that one. Let's go for it again. I'm not even going to click anything else. Let's not even shout at them yet. Let's see how they do for the rest of this half before we make any more shouts. Sakarian straight in here from the kickoff. Whips it in, looking for Madueke. He just about finds him, gets it to Justin, Justin into Tillemans. Tillemans going to try and get the ball back in somehow. Gets it to Madueke, Madueke causing all kinds of chaos for Dortmund into Armada. And we nearly had a chance to immediately go 3-1 up, but we still have the ball. Zakarian, his pass is poor. Didn't really look and didn't get it to anyone. Rain and Ali in the counter-attack, but the highlight ends. And we start again with another highlight beginning with us, Justin to Armada. Justin going to try and get it in, gets it to Thiago Armada. We've challenged him to do better in this half. Gets it to Zagarian. He nearly did do better. He nearly got an assist, Thiago Armada. And immediately his rating went up. Not by a lot, but it did go up. We are piling the pressure on Borussia Dortmund. And they need to wake up. They need two goals to get level. Three to win. It's a poor pass. Poor pass from Zakarian. Was it Zakarian or Christiansen? I might have been a bit harsh on who that was then. I think it was Christiansen. It was. Christiansen not actually having the best of games, so we might need to consider. Might have to consider bringing Livramento on just so we can shift Justin, who is having a decent game, onto the. Oh, I thought that was going to be in. Onto the left hand side just to give a bit of cover. Because Christiansen not having the best of games. You watch him score an absolute world. You know, I'm moaning about him not having a good game. <sighs> We're getting close to the hour mark. Free kick from Armada. Zuma's there. Well. I don't believe. Oh, Kurt nearly did it again. Just imagine if Kurt Zuma had done the same goal again immediately after. Boys, what is happening? <laughs> like, we're a good Premier League team, so we should be challenging Dortmund, but we're destroying them. We're absolutely wrecking them. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Also, comparing this leg to the first leg as well, it's mind-blowing. Oh, Solomon just tries to walk it in, doesn't have a good chance there. Oh, my word. It's still sticking with this 4-3-1-2 formation. It has not worked for them in this game up until this point. Yes, they've got the one goal, but we scored three past them while they're using it. 
Bellingham there. Gets it out wide to Wolf. We've actually gone very narrow in defence here. Wolf now looking to get it in. Gets it to Bellingham. Oh. Uh, Justin clears it out. Justin clears it out. Right, we're going to make some changes. Uh, we are going to do what I said before. We are going to take off Christiansen. And it is going to be Liveramento with the thigh injury. Who is going to come on. Should be absolutely fine. All things considered, should be absolutely fine. I'm also tempted to bring on Mancini and just have a fresh defender up at the back. I think we're going to do that, actually. I think the front line can be as it was. It's done well enough in this game. Let's not worry about any more changes there until we get to about the 70th minute. Right, we start out with a goal kick. LaFont launches it forward, looking for Alvarez or Zakarian. Zakarian can't win the ball. Wolf does. Dortmund having a bit more of the ball now, which is a bit of a frustration. We might go to... Oh, the ball's in here, but LaFont is there. We might go um, to hard tackling just to try and... Uh, Get in there and just snip the ball off of them. Lafont picking his spots like he did before. He's going to try and get the ball to Alvarez again, I think. He's launched it over the top. Hasn't quite found him this time. The strikers for Dortmund were just making it really difficult for him. Liveramento, I thought, was not going to get the ball there. Alvarez. Alvarez beats his man for pace. And Julian Alvarez has just made it four on the night, seven overall. What is happening? I feel like I've repeated that sentence over and over again. Genuinely, what is happening? I've just realised we brought Livermento on, didn't we? What is happening? We've destroyed them in this game away from home. This should be the game we struggled in. I'm not going to lie, guys. The script for this episode was a valiant effort in the Champions League. But the save was never going to be about the Champions League. It was always about the FA Cup, which we did last season. And this was a bonus season for the Premier League. The Champions League winning it was never really an aim. And yet, and yet, we're here. 4-1 up in the 76th minute of the second leg of the semi-final. 7-3 up on Agrigus. What, what a time to be alive this is. What a time to be alive. Happy 2022. I don't know when this video is coming out, but I'm recording this on the, I think it's the 4th or 5th or something like that. I think it's the 5th of January today. I should really look. If Alvarez has actually put that in and it gets counted, then I don't even know. I might do a walkout for them. Um, yeah, it's the 5th of January, it's like 1am, half 1, the 5th of January at the moment, so it's still early New Year, but that one gets disallowed, that's fine. Um, so yeah, when I say Happy New Year to me, Happy 2022 to me, just be aware that this episode was recorded probably a while ago by the time you're watching this. Um, I am a little shell-shocked at what we're watching here. I just hope that we're not done now for the season i'm just hoping we've got a little bit more in the tank for the games coming up in the premier league this feels like it's just been one continuous highlight zakarian now on the ball looking to whip it in he does whip it in he finds madueke madueke flicks it onto alvarez and alvarez has made it five julian alvarez has exited one of his mini barren spells with a couple of goals against Borussia Dortmund in the semi-final of the Champions League. Borussia Dortmund have been ripped apart here. Absolutely ripped apart. I am genuinely a bit shell-shocked at this performance. In a good way. Whipped in. Livramento gets it clear. Sidney's so got a knock. Livramento's doing all right so far. Mancini as well doing a good job coming off the bench. And we just... Oh, it's frustration. It's frustration from Vanga, man. He's already got a yellow card. He's off. He's off. Just to make it worse, Dortmund down to 10 men. Joshua Vanga, man, off the pitch. We will make that final change. Now we're going to take one of the tired lads off. Who do we take off? Who do we take off? I think... It's going to be Ian Sadji coming on. And it's... No. 
We're going to be Thomas Sushak on for Declan Rice. I wanted to bring Hadji on, but I kind of want to save Declan Rice because he is the captain after all. We'll get Sushak on for the final few minutes just to hopefully shore things up a little bit. Not that we need to. We, you know, we've got a bit of a cushion. A little bit of a goal cushion, so we don't necessarily need to worry about defensive uh, frailties just at this moment. Where has this performance come from? Where has this performance come from? Are we seriously... Okay, they get another goal back. That's fine. Are we seriously suggesting that this West Ham United team, which is a very good team, don't get me wrong, are we seriously suggesting that this West Ham United team are going to end this season Carabao Cup winners, potentially Premier League winners, in the final of the FA Cup and in the final of the Champions League? Are we, are we seriously suggesting that? Because that's what it looks like is happening. Unless we have a monumental collapse in the last couple of Premier League games. We've just scored a sixth. Thiago Armada has just scored a sixth. I mean, they're down to 10 men, so I can kind of understand it a little bit more now. But we are... We've already ripped them apart, but we're just going for the jugular. And I kind of like it. I like how ruthless we're being in this game. There have been games where we've just sat off, and this is not one of them. It's 9-4 on aggregate. Somebody stop him. He's already dead. Stop the counts. My word. I'm absolutely staggered. I, I, I know this is incredibly boring because I'm not... I'm just kind of going around in circles saying how shocked I am. But can you blame me? <laughs> Look at the score. Jesus Christ. I mean, I just, again, I hope that this doesn't ruin us. For, what a goal by Julian Alvarez. He's just completed his hat trick. That might be the goal of the season. Just for the fact he scored it. In the semi-final of the Champions League. Just as a cherry on top. The 90th minute of the game. There's no need for it whatsoever. And he's just gone for it. To get his hat trick in this game. It's 10-4 on aggregate. 7-2 on the nice. That might be the goal of the season. That actually might be the goal of the season. And we've somehow absolutely battered them. And other than the very beginning when they started off well, we just turned on the style very early on. And carried on going up and up and up. And they did get back to it at some point. But then we just turned on the style even more and just battered them even more. What a ridiculous game of football. I don't even have words for it. Where are Borussia Dortmund in the table in the Bundesliga? Have we ruined their season? I think they've only got one game to go, haven't they? 18. Yeah, they've only got one game to go anyway. So they can't win the title anyway. So we haven't completely ruined their season. Oh, we might have done because they've got they've got Borussia Dortmund right... Sorry, uh, Bayer Leverkusen right behind them. So we might have completely ruined their season. They might finish third if they lose their final game of the season. Right. <laughs> what, what just happened? I mean, seriously. What just happened? Those last two games. How many goals have we scored in our last two games? Oh, this bloody game, I swear to God. I had it on far too long today. Um I mean we've we've just scored twelve goals in our last two games. No biggie. Um <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I've just seen who we got in the final as well. Paris Saint Germain or Manchester United. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um I don't know what to do about that, but we're not even going to worry about that just for the time being because we have got something even more important, which is the Premier League title. The whole point of this final season, and we've got three games left of it. So, sit rep on the Premier League. We are currently five points ahead. We have got three games left. We win one of those games. We are the Premier League champions. The only way to make sure that we do not throw this away is to make sure that we get at least two points from the next three games. We do that, we are guaranteed to win the Premier League. 
it's insane. It's an insane thing that this has happened. And then, you know, just to add to that, we've also got the final of the Champions League and the final of the FA Cup. After already winning the Carabao Cup. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know what to say. I don't know how this season's gone the way that it has. All I can say is I'm very glad we did one more season because it looks like we're going to have a very successful one. We already have. The way that we've done in the Premier League, the fact that we've got to a Champions League final, we've got to yet another FA Cup final, and we won the Carabao Cup. To me, all of that stuff already makes it worthwhile. So I'm so glad that we did it. And I'm so glad I've got to share it with you. So I'm going to leave things there. Thank you so much for joining me in this mad episode. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel as well for more Football Manager weirdness, is what I'm going to call it after this episode. Um, I've been Stubo. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when hopefully we might just lift the Premier League title in the form of a Lego trophy. Fingers crossed. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.